welcome back to my channel it's christine grace and today is another reaction video today i'm going to be reacting to a clip from lex friedman i'm a big fan of lex friedman um and today he's discussing is the singularity coming which is a topic that i am particularly fascinated with so i hope you are too let's check it out everything you've talked about from starting from the basic elements with the big bang that somehow created the sun that somehow uh, said F you to uh, thermodynamics and created life and all the ways that you've talked about from uh, ribosomes that created the machinery, that created the machine, and then now the biological machine creating uh, through digital fabrication, more complex artificial machines, all of that, there's a magic to that creative process. And we notice, we humans are smart enough to notice the magic. So it's a, you haven't said the S word yet. Um, Which one is that? Singularity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if Ray Kurzweil is listening, if he is, hi, Ray. Yeah. But I have a complex relationship with Ray because mm -hmm. a lot of the things he projects, I find annoying. But then he does his homework yeah. and then somewhat annoyingly, he points out how almost everything I'm doing fits on his roadmaps. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, you know, the... <laughs> The the question is, are we heading towards a singularity? I so I'd have to say I lean towards sigmoids rather than exponentials. Mm -hmm. Um we've done pretty well with uh sigmoids. Yeah. So si sigmoids are things grow and they taper, and then there can be one after it and one after it. So um you know, I'll I'll pass on whether there's enough of them that that uh, they diverge. But you know, to the selfish gene answer to the meaning of life is the meaning of life is the propagation of life, mm -hmm. and so um, you know it 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 was a step for atoms to assemble into a molecule, um, for molecules to assemble into a protocell for the protocell to form to then form organelles for the organ cells to form organs, the organs to form an organism. Then it was a step for organisms to form family units, then family units to form villages. You can view you know, each of those as a stack in the level of organization. So you could view everything we've spoken about as the imperative of life, just the next step in the hierarchy of that, in the fulfillment of the inexorable drive of the violation of thermodynamics. So, you know, you, you could view, you know, I, I'm an embodiment of the will of the violation of thermodynamics speaking. <laughs> the two of us having uh, uh, having an old chat, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so it continues. And even then the singularity is just a transition up the ladder. There's nothing deeper to consciousness than... It, it it it's a derived property of distributed problem solving. Um, there's nothing deeper to life than embodied AI in, in morphogenesis. Do you want to take control of your financial future but don't know where to start? Noble Gold Investments understands. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments makes it easy. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. They'll suggest options to see if you can diversify into gold and silver. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free 5-ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless five star reviews. Why wait? Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. Noblegoldinvestments.com, the only gold company that I trust. Well, I get what he's saying. And look, this guy is definitely way more of an expert on this particular topic than me, but here's just my two pence for it. I get what he's saying completely. It makes sense, but the only reason that I would argue that perhaps the singularity might be a bit different in this instance with regards to the technological advancements is that when we look at the technological advancements that have happened over even the last, what, 25 years, the the increase in technological advancements have been so fast and so rapid and so exponential that to me, 
upon the evidence that I've seen, it kind of just makes more sense to me logically that the singularity would be coming because we're on an exponential route. I don't know. I just, I don't see a plateau coming because I, I've just seen such fast, steep exponential growth in the last 25 years. But hey, I, I could be wrong. Why don't you give me your two cents in the comments? Let me know below what you think. Is the singularity coming or are we all getting hyped up over nothing? What do you think? If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up before you leave and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all of my reaction videos. And hey, why not leave a video in the comments for me to react to if you have anything you think I might be interested in. And subscribe to my channel to check out my series Debunking the Lunacy to make sure that you keep up to date and don't miss anything. I'll see you very soon.